across Northern California have been inundated with animals that survived the campfire, now trying to reunite pet owners. She has trouble breathing as it is. I don't know if she made it, but I want to be with her even if it's the last moments of her life. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live at the Butte County Fairgrounds with more on the rescue efforts. Jen? Tony and Christina, more than 180 large animals brought here to Gridley where they're being housed as volunteers try to reunite them with their owners. Now, it's only a fraction of the number of pets rescued, and there's many more in Chico. One fire victim after another. Come back tomorrow. People searching and desperate to find their pets. She was lost up on Dean Road in Paradise, and her name's Kona. Nicole Phantom nearly Phantom lost it all. 14. When I got there, I mean, my whole street was in flames. Days later, everything around her home charred, except for her six year old Oso. He had waited at the doorstep, I guess, of my house and waited for me to come home. He's one of hundreds rescued from a raging inferno. He's having a hard time walking because of the burns on his feet, but you know, he's gonna make it. Pets housed all across the Northwest in every breed and size. Everything I know is gone. I, uh, I have 12 different other family members that live up there, and they've all lost their houses too. Mary Foster saw the picture of her horse online. Now, the only thing that survived from her childhood. It was really good, but the next thing that came through my head was, was he okay? Like, and then I heard that he had wounds under his stomach, and I just kept calling and trying to get to anyone and everyone that I could to. Get someone up there to be able to help him. Among so much heartbreak are signs of survival. Special delivery from Cal Fire. Volunteers from the North Valley Animal Disaster Group scouring through the wreckage, hoping to bring healing to those who've lost everything. It's a bad situation. It's sad. It's hard. And I guess the good news is that we're able to find a lot of animals. These animals are going to need a lot of help and possibly for a really long time, which is where you can come in. You can volunteer time or donate, but the donations are coming in so quickly that they're asking at this point to donate cash. For more information, head to our website and click on the story.